In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a bike ride for use with your bike trainer. So here I've selected in activities a recent bike ride. And if you click here on the ride, you're going to see this. The slope chart is very rough. And if I zoom in, you know, you can see it's just crazy. That's not what my ride looked like. Uh, and the reason for this is this is noise from the GPS recording. Uh, so the main thing you need to do uh, before you ride a bike, before you ride an activity on your trainer is to smooth this, uh, this gradient out. So what I'm going to do is use the Golden Cheetah Fixed GPS uh, tool. So you click Edit and Fix GPS Errors. Uh, and this brings up the dialog that controls it. And I've tried to be as clear as possible about how it works, um, but it is fairly mathematical and complicated. So apologize in advance. So this is the Golden Cheetah uh, Fix GPS Errors tool dialog that's reached from Edit Fix GPS. And the way this works is this tool has the ability to con construct a smooth representation of your route. Uh, this is known as a spline. And a spline is not a perfect fit, it's a weighted fit. Uh, and these parameters control the weighting. So for example, if I set this smoothing degree to three, uh, then the first pass, the spline that builds it, uh, will build a line that goes through every point. Uh, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in smoothing. Uh, and the way the smoothing works, uh, this, the more points you take in to build your spline, uh, the smoother the spline will be. So the way this pass works is that we build a spline with some degree. Uh, we discard outliers which is your route's points that live farther from the spline than, in this case, 100 centimeters. And then we, after those points have been discarded, we build a second spline. Uh, and you can use a different degree. In this case, because the outliers are discarded, I'm, I'm using a smaller degree. Uh, it's not quite as smooth. Um, and just to be clear, this is 500 points being sampled for every point on your route. Um, 250 to the left and 250 to the right of, the, of whatever point is being sampled. And you can look up B splines if you're interested in exactly how it works. Anyway, to use it, you click the Apply B Spline Altitude Smoothing. And then you click, well, you can click Test. And this will update the statistics with <clears throat> the results of the this smoothing pass. Now I'm not going to go into it, but this second pass, this second option here, the B spline route smoothing, this is for smoothing location data. For example, your map, your map info. Um, so if you have a, a route that looks really jaggy uh, in the map view, you can use this to smooth it. And it's it's the same technology, except that it's a three-dimensional spline instead of a, a one-dimensional spline. Anyway, the test is completed, and we can see there's 1,300 outliers that were discarded, uh, and the step deviation is four, uh, which says this is how far apart the points are on average. Um, and you can see the max and min slopes are quite high, uh, minus 37 and 29. I'm going to say go for it. I'm going to tell it to apply these changes to the route. And then we can look at what might have gone wrong. So now we have the route smoothed. And we can see that right in the middle here, there's this spiky looking thing. And I'm like, what is that? This, this kind of looks like garbage to me. Uh, so I look at the distance. It's 12.8. 0248. So I'm going to go over here to the details tab 
and I'm going to scroll down until I get to 12 point, 12 point, oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. So suddenly I remember that I stopped at my friend's house uh, on this bike ride. And what we're seeing is, this is the noise of my phone. Uh, when it's in one place, uh, the altitude and location are changing subtly all the time. So I collect, I clicked on the first noise sample, uh, and now I'm going to go down to the to where the distance changes again. Twelve point. Let's go up a little bit more. And so I hold shift down and click this one. I've selected the region that is static, and then I say delete. And those points are now removed from my ride. You'll see that there's some stuff still going on here, but in fact, my friend lives at the bottom of a big hill. So this is okay. So the next step, after I have it smoothed, I go to activity export. And I'm going to select export type JSON and save it somewhere. So I've now imported my JSON file as a workout into Golden Cheetah. And now I select it, and you're going to see my beautifully smoothed altitude here. And you'll see the route on the map. And now just for fun, I'm gonna run that in the robot trainer. This is a virtual trainer instead of hooking it up to my physical device. And I hit play. And there we go, the bike ride has started. Uh, now this trainer is putting out, if I scroll up here, you know, it averages 100 watts. Um, and my speed is increasing. Uh, my altitude is, increasing and uh, yeah so you can just put your watts in here and uh, enjoy your bike ride Let's see if I don't think I have speed showing here usually I rely on video for everything Yeah, so this is, now I'm going down the big hill uh, toward the bridge. So my velocity will increase even though uh, I'm not only putting out 100 watts. But yeah, that's the idea. And then when you're done, you hit stop and save and finish. And here you have your beautiful virtual ride. Snow on the mountain, and it looks like it's gonna rain. 